While we were playing Apex Legends, we ran into an epic room filled with all sorts of rare loot. Like, we're talking epic and legendary level here. And when we looked at the door, it was locked. And it said that it was a vault offline sec update of about 13 days and 21 hours. So roughly, it's about 14 days. So we decided to start exploring, and we ended up figuring out on how to open these secret rooms where you can get some crazy loot. Now, this is a high risk, high reward. Makes sense, because you're going to get some serious loot. At the time, we didn't think much of it. Maybe it's one of those event things that Apex wanted to drop on us. And when we asked the devs about it, they told us, no, 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 that's not what it's supposed to do. There's actually an update which would let you open these rooms. So when you guys are able to play Apex Legends, there's a way to open these rooms. If you guys remember in the trailer, they showed us that Crypto just opened the door and was able to have access to all that loot. So we figured that maybe we'd need to use Crypto's drone. Maybe the drone is the key to open those doors. And when we tried it... Getting my eyes in the sky. Activating hardware reboot. I'm back. Logged off my drone. It didn't work out. It seemed to still be locked. Now when we started looking around, we found out that you can actually shoot these cargo bots and they drop the key within it. Now this key is going to open the door. But before we talk about the door and where you can find it, I need to explain these cargo bots. These cargo bots actually alternate in color for the rarity. And you can shoot it and there's actually a slight moment where it's at the legendary level. So you can shoot it at that and the loot that it drops will have at least one item that is legendary or of the color that the ball dropped at. Another thing to know is don't shoot directly at the ball if you want to make it drop quicker. Shoot at the top of the ball. There's this little area and you can actually see it when you have Bloodhound. You can see the area that I'm talking about that you need to shoot in order to get it to drop quicker. It just does more damage. Alright, now with that out of the way, now you guys know where to get the key. But where do we go to get these vaults? If you look on the map here, you can see the location of where this vault is. But this isn't the only vault with the secret loop. There's actually another vault we found on the map. And we figure that if you look for areas of canyons of map on the map, you'll see that there might be other vaults on it. We couldn't figure out how many more were on it, but we know there's at least two on season three's map. And we also saw a really interesting area on the map. Just picking a place. Now, when we decided to drop on that, it seems to be the first ever mountaintop area of a map where you can just go up there, get loot, and you, you'll probably find a sniper up there and snipe. So it's just something extra I thought I'd mention. But in these rooms, if you guys are willing to take that risk and that high reward, you can go get those cargo bots, get the key, and go to these areas that we located on the map. Let me know if you guys find any more rooms like this on the map or any other Easter eggs. Write it down in the comments below. But with that, I'm going to leave it here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.